What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. In today's video we have some important news about the jailbreak and the iOS 11.2.x. A new jailbreak might be able to come in the future with a new vulnerability that has been released and it's apparently been done already but it's still private. So we're going to talk about this post that started everything. So you probably remember that a couple weeks ago Minspark Zing said quote got a root shell on the latest iOS 11.3 and he shows up the um, screenshot from the computer. But then, uh, just a couple hours ago, he followed it up with this, quote, this is not a jailbreak because we didn't remount the root file system to read and write and install Cydia. The problem is Apple added a new mitigation on the 11.3 or 11.2 in the APFS text and we need to bypass it. To which, of course, Coolstar said, got something to get around the root file system remount issue on the 11.3, but nah, not like we're going to get a public kernel exploit anyways. To which Chris Wade uh, said, I can give that to you. Looks like the latest I can give you is 11.2.6. I think they were patched in 11.3. And he proceeds to give out a kernel vulnerability with the source code which is now available in here. Well, that escalated quickly. Then of course, to the same post in here that Minspark Zeng made, Saigusa said, quote, as long as the restore kernel can do it, so can you. As you can see in here. To which of course Minspark Zeng said, let's do it. And just a couple minutes ago, guess what? Minspark Zeng posted, quote, this time it's a real jailbreak now. And he posts a screenshot in which he has mobile terminal and Cydia installed. And of course, he proceeds to show that M terminal does work and he is able to run commands on uh, here. And of course, he's able to run applications coming from a jailbreak. So iOS 11.3 has been jailbroken apparently and jailbroken properly with Cydia and so on. And even though it's still a private jailbreak and we have no idea whether Minspark is going to release it or not, it's still a full jailbreak and it might be very, very useful. Now, there is also Coolstar's idea, which might be very useful because if you remember, considering the fact that he said that he has the trick to remount properly the root file system on iOS 11.3 and lower, and considering the fact that Chris Wade gave him a vulnerability that works on iOS 11.2.6 and lower, he might be able to now update Electra to work for iOS 11.2, 11.2.6, 11.2.5, and so on. For the moment, it's not known whether he's going to do this, but I assume he will probably do this in the future if uh, we don't buffer him. And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. There are two different jailbreaks that have the potential to be released. One coming from Saigusa and Minspark Zeng, although I dubbed that they would release anything. Saigusa decided to keep something private and means Spark Zing doesn't have any uh, public record of releasing any jailbreak. And then we have Coolstar that might be able to work with the new kernel exploit or kernel vulnerability in order to update his Electra, which is much more possible, but again, it's not known for the moment. Anyways, things start to look very good for the 11.2.6 and lower, so make sure you do not update your device. For the moment, the 11.2.x are no longer signed, so do not go to 11.3.1. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Quite a lot of new in a very very small time frame but do not forget do not update your device stay right where you are thank you for watching we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community i'm gsnow until the next time peace out